Hey honeys, welcome back to Kips Natural and thanks so much for tuning in. Happy New Year and welcome to 2024. So what is your hair goals this year? Are you aiming to reach waist length, fat length? Is it about length retention, thickness, volume or just healthy hair in general? Then this video is for you. I've put this together to help you with your length retention, minimize that excess breakage, get that thickness, voluminous hair you see in this video. I want to share with you what we've been doing, our hair care routine to achieve this length you see in this video to help you grow that long, healthy hair in 2024. So let's grow that hair this year, honeys. We can do it. Here we go. So let's start by taking down this protective style that we had in for about a month. And in the month, I didn't do much. All I was doing was just moisturizing the hair, spraying the hair with water and applying growth oil to the scalp about three times a week. Okay, and this is the growth we had in the month. Amazing, guys. So much growth. Okay, and I'm just going to show you the oils I was using. So I was using the Extreme Growth Scalp and Hair Therapy Oil for Little Heads from K-Culture. Okay, natural all 100% natural oils, no chemicals, and it's amazing. So before we start, guys, I'm just showing you, as you can see, I'm filing my nail because of this. As you can see, that chip, okay, in my nail, that can cause a lot of breakage. So you want to make sure you file your nails, okay, before you start, because if not, it will have you'll have a lot of breakage. I'm not sure if you've experienced that before when you're doing your hair and you can feel your nails just ripping your hair. So this is so important. And also make sure any jewelry you take off, okay, because that can also catch on your hair. Okay, we are trying to retain the length here, avoiding breakage. I'm using the K-Culture pre pull intensive natural oils for little heads as well to pre-pull the hair and i start by spraying water on the hair and then going in with the pre-pull oils okay now guys make sure you always spray your hair with water before you start working on your hair okay because dry hair breaks easily okay so you want to make sure you have a bit of moisture in there and making sure you put enough of your pre-pull oils at the end of your Hair, which is the oldest part of your hair and gently taking down your braids okay be very gentle guys this year when you're taking down your braids your protective style okay because that is where we lose a lot of hair okay taking your time especially at the ends again because it's the oldest part of your hair so you've got to be very very gentle and gentle throughout the whole length of your hair okay it's so important so basically just make sure you are using water 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 guys when you're taking down your braids your, your twist protective style okay because water will make it soft okay and make it easy to unravel the protective style okay and then when you get to this point where you can see the hair is all kicked up okay because of the build up the shedded hair all you do spray some water onto that area and then go over with your oils okay pre cool oil that will soften the hair okay and that will make it easy for the hair to come apart all you do is just use your fingers to separate the strands and they will easily come apart it will melt that knot okay that build up and you will be able to separate the hair strands normally what we do is when we get to that part we just forcefully rip okay the hair apart no that will cause a lot of breakage okay you don't want to do that as you can see the hair is just coming apart because of the water and the oils, it's just melted it all, okay? And that's what you want to do, okay? There you go, guys. You can see it's all it's all done. It's all separated. There's no build-up. So what I'm doing right now, I've just taken down a number of the braids, put it together in the section, and then added a bit more water and purple oil, and then I put it in a twist, okay? And making sure I put more oils at the ends, which is the oldest part. And I'm doing the same thing. So basically, all I'm doing is just layers of water, purple oils, okay? And then after that, I just put it in a twist. That is what purple is about, Okay. So people is basically using an oil that can penetrate your hair and prevent the constant expansion and contraction of your hair cuticles, resulting from taking in too much water, known as hydro fatigue. This can cause your hair to become weak and stretch beyond normal and finally result in hair breakage. I have talked a lot about the benefit of people in your hair on wash days. And thanks so much for all the feedback you shared with me when you tried it. People would change your hair game, guys. 
I promise you, people will reduce their excess hair breakage, okay? It also makes it easy to detangle your hair after the wash, okay? So now all I'm doing, basically, like I said, just oils and water in layers. And then after that, I just cover it with a shower cup. You can leave it in for like 45 minutes, an hour or two hours. The best time I can say is better to do your people overnight okay and leave it in as an overnight treatment okay and then the next morning you just take it out and then you wash it okay because in the night when you're sleeping your body is more relaxed okay it's better for your the oils in your hair to work on your hair so as you can see it's morning we've taken down um we're taking down the twist okay and this is what we have guys look at that moisture I'm just loving the moisture look I'm getting from using this cake culture and prepo oils. Okay, so much moisture, guys, as you can see, compared to when I did the homemade prepo oils. Okay, um, but then I guess it's because this cake culture oil contains more different oils. I just use coconut oil and olive oil. So there we go. So now I start by drenching the hair in water. Okay, this is so important, guys, to allow the hair to be able to absorb all the product that we are going to put in the hair okay um just like when you're taking your shower you want to put some water on your body okay before you scrub and i'm using the cream of nature um argan oil sulfate free shampoo okay i'm going to leave all the product i'm using okay i'm going to pin them down below so please look out for it okay and as you can see guys i'm washing the hair in sections so important and also guys please make sure when you're washing your hair your scalp use the ball of your fingers not your fingernails okay not your fingernail as you can see i'm using the ball of my fingers not my fingernails to avoid causing any bruise or scratch on your scalp okay um, like I said, I'm washing in sections, guys. Working sections is so important, okay? Our forehead needs to be worked in sections, okay? It will be hard to work in a hole, trust me. So make sure you're always working in sections, okay? It makes it easy for you to be able to reach every strand, especially when you're washing your hair, to reach every strand of the hair. And as you can see, I'm washing the hair on a downward motion. So as you saw me, I was just kind of pulling the hair down washing the hair this helps to detangle the hair and then once you finish washing the hair it will be so easy when you're detangling the hair okay so always wash the hair in a downward motion okay um you're going to see it a bit more here as i do it okay and just make sure you're washing in sections it's so so important and avoid putting the shampoo at the very tip of the hair so the ends of your hair don't put any shampoo okay because the cuticles are so red so as you can see this is the downward motion i'm talking about wash your hair in a downward motion it helps to detangle the hair okay and like i was saying do not put the shampoo at the very tip okay because that side is all raised the cuticles are so raised you don't want to make it worse okay because when you do the ladder and the foam will eventually come to that point anyway so don't deliberately put the shampoo at the tip just let the ladder run to that part okay so that it's that it's not too much okay so this is it we finished washing and here we go guys we are about to dip condition the hair and guys this is a new dip conditioner different dip conditioner from the one you saw earlier in the rice hair mask okay this is a different hair mask as you can see the rice hair mask had a different consistency compared to this and this is white okay as you can see more creamier and silkier okay and it gives the hair a very silky look okay unlike the rice conditioner it was lighter in consistency and also pinky kind of brown but this is very different so let me know if you want this hair mask as well i always want to know if you want to before i share it okay so i'm still trying to find out what you like guys okay so let me know if you want me to share that with you please please like this video guys if it's helpful if you're liking the video if you're getting okay some tips please kindly like the video for me okay and i really appreciate and please subscribe don't forget to subscribe okay to this channel because there's a lot a lot a lot that we're learning from here we grow our hair on this channel on a budget okay so you will love it here okay so as you can see i have applied the um hair mask okay in the hair as you can see all done and i'm just going to cover the hair first with my plastic sheet and then go over with my shower cup you can leave this in for like um 
45 minutes, an hour, 30 minutes is up to you. The longer you do, the better. We kept it in for a bit. Okay. And here it's time for us to take out the, um, to wash out the hair mask. Okay. Um, yes. And it's so easy. Once we took out the hair mask, you can see, we took out the cup. Look at that. The hair is just, the, the strands are just coming apart so easily because this hair mask is so, so good. Okay. It's, it melts the tangles just like the rice hair mask. Okay. But what I was saying is this one is has a different it gives the hair a more silkier look okay so very perfect for those silk presses okay that you want to do and all that it's it's amazing as you can see i'm first finger detangling the hair okay especially when it gets to a point where the hair comb is not going through you want to finger detangle before you carry on with the combing and then the comb will just run through just like that as you can see once you finger detangle there you go the comb just goes through like that so less manipulation less combing to avoid breakage remember 2024 we are trying to retain length so anything to avoid breakage is good so as you can see more finger detangling and then after that i comb through okay and then here we go so like i said guys if you want this hair mask let me know i will share it straight away with you okay it's just amazing and please like the video so I know this is what you want. The more you like it, the more I know you want these things and I'll bring it to you. So as you saw, the hair is all detangled and it looks amazing. Okay, so now I'm just rinsing out the hair mask, okay? As you can see, making sure I would do it a couple of times. So what I do, I just take some part of the hair, check the scalp, make sure there's no hair mask left on the scalp to cause any fungus or any infection. It's very important, okay? But look at that, guys. Look at that silky look. It looks so silky. And that's what you get from this hair mask, guys. It's just amazing, okay? So as I said, I'm just checking the scalp, making sure there is no mask left on it. And I'm blot drying the hair now. You want to blot dry. You don't want to use a towel which can catch on the hair, causing breakage. So just a t-shirt and you can see I'm not rubbing the hair. <laughs> Bless her. I'm not rubbing the hair, the, the, the t-shirt on there. I'm just leaving it on. And then when I take the t-shirt off, you will see the t-shirt is absorbed so much of the water and that's all you have to do no rough no roughness on the hair that's it we want to be gentle this year with our hair very tender loving care for our hair so again i'm putting the hair in four sections so important guys to work in sections so you see i'm going to be doing a lot of sectioning throughout you know pre pulling deep conditioning washing shampooing everything i do in sections okay styling in sections so you can reach every strand okay of your hair and also so it doesn't become overwhelming for you our full hair should be done in sections so now i'm going to moisturize the hair and i'm using the k-culture moisturizing leave-in conditioner and detangling therapy cream is a three-in-one is a moisturizer detangler and also um it's a leave-in conditioner and this really really has helped to thicken our hair so if you're thinking of product to thicken your hair consider this there's so much good reviews that i've got okay from people coming back to me when i shared it with them so you can give it a try check their website you see all the reviews it's amazing it's natural okay natural ingredients in there again so yeah so now i'm putting the hair in bunting knots so to stretch our hair i do bunting knots i don't blow dry our hair i keep telling you i've never blow dried my kids hair and that's the truth and one of our secrets to the healthy thick long hair you can you are seeing heat tools things your hair and creates weak points in your hair it breaks the bones in your hair Okay, so you really, really want to try to stretch your hair naturally. Okay, with bunter nuts or you can use African treading is up to you. Okay, but try as much as you can, okay, to avoid heat. Okay, if you're trying to get that length retention and that long hair, okay, that you're looking for in 2024. Okay, also use a good moisturizer, okay, to retain length. We struggle to retain length when our hair is not well moisturized it gets dry and then it breaks off so moisturize your hair properly with a good moisturizer to keep the hair moisturized for long and if it's your kids watch there make it fun for them okay you can see we are chatting and laughing i try to keep her entertained and make her laugh to take her mind off what i'm doing i get her to do more of the talking asking her questions she tells me about school what's happening her friends if your kids are much younger you can just have their toys in the bath to play with in the water you can sing 
nursery rhyme school songs to keep their minds off what you're doing and if it's your wash day you want to do it on a day you're not too busy so you can be gentle on your hair no rushing okay you can keep yourself entertained when you're detangling your hair by putting on your favorite tv program watching some movies whilst you're detangling okay your hair listening to some music whilst you're washing your hair okay um it helps okay for you to relax and calm you down okay and enjoy the wash day making you gentle on your hair okay it's it's just all the things you can do okay to avoid you being harsh on your hair and being harsh on your kids hair and making sure your kids are loving the wash day and looking forward to wash days same as you so we are done with the bantu nuts and we kept it in for about three hours we went out for her weekend activities as usual which helped it to dry we came back home to style it and yeah we started by taking out the bantu nuts okay and um you will see that the hair still looks very moisturized and that's what you want as you can see it's all still very moisturized okay so then i'm going to seal in the moisture with my k culture natural moisturizing coconut butter this coconut butter is perfect for all her porosities because it's not thick like other butters like coconut like um shea butter and other butters it's very light as you can see and it has so much shine to your hair okay and you want to make sure you're putting enough at the ends of your hair like i've always said which is the oldest part of your hair so you really want to look after it okay um even low porosity hair is perfect because it's not thick okay so it'll not sit on your hair it's just amazing okay this um coconut butter so now we are ready to start guys and look at that stretched hair guys this is what bunting up that's okay guys look at that it looks so much like it's been blow dried it has that blow dry look but no it's just natural way of stretching the hair with no heat and we're putting the hair in twist as you can see beautiful twists are very good for your hair guys because it helps to retain moisture look at that stretched hair guys that blow dry look is amazing okay now guys i just want to say quickly okay try not to over manipulate your hair okay try leaving your hair alone too much combing styling touching your hair will cause breakage i leave her hair alone okay and i notice every wash day her hair keeps getting longer and longer so try leave your hair alone okay and don't over manipulate your hair too much also eat healthy check your diet take some multivitamins it helps drink lots of water stay hydrated avoid tight hairstyles okay it puts tension on your scalp okay causing breakage and when your hair breaks from the roots it's very difficult for it to go back now look at that stretch hair guys trust me guys this bunting has really helps okay and best of all you don't have to put heat in your hair which will help you with the length retention okay so i'm reading your comments okay and i came across these two comments and that's why i'm bringing you this okay so please like the video if you're happy with it if it's helpful okay so i know what you want me to be bringing you okay please and please subscribe okay if you haven't subscribed already okay but as you can see guys the hair is all done and now i'm going in with the k culture extreme growth scalp and hair therapy or your follicle heads okay which i showed you earlier like i said it's been amazing for us okay and i'll be doing this throughout the weeks with this protective style so all i'm doing applying it to her scalp okay and massaging it okay and that is so important guys because massage helps with blood circulation and encourage blood flow to your scalp okay bringing all the nutrients okay to your scalp needed for the growth okay and stimulating the growth okay now this oil it's a cleanser okay this oil is a cleanser it's good to fight dandruff dry flaky and itchy scalp okay and now i'm going in with the k culture natural vibrant shine oil okay this oil okay is to protect our ends and control split ends okay and avoid breakage and encourage that length retention okay now i've said a lot about split ends so you know split ends and it causes a lot of breakage okay so once you are able to protect and control your hair from split ends okay you will be able to see that length retention and that has been one of our secrets to this length okay that you you are seeing so what i do i run i run the oil 
all along the length of the hair okay but focus more on the end okay so that it doesn't break and then we can see the length okay that we're looking for so this is it all done guys thank you so much for watching you see the hair looking all silky because of the hair mask and all this product look at the shining silky look thank you so much for watching guys please like and subscribe see you in the next one bye